Halloween. So I'm looking forward to this. I really enjoyed the first two games. Well, the first game rather. And uh, the demo, which ended up becoming sort of a prequel. And uh, this is the sequel. So if you haven't checked those out, I totally suggest you go check that, those games out. Uh, the game is pretty much kind of like uh, Fatal Frame. You've got a camera, you shoot ghosts. Based on Indonesian folklore and horror. Whoa! What the? What the this heck was place. that? <laughs> it's never empty. It's a room with a janitor. The power it contains is not diminished. And its keepers never sleep. So these are areas from the first game. With all the sacrifices I've made. I will not return empty-handed. This was the last boss of the, of the first game. Not this time. So, is she back? I thought I got it's rid been of her. too long. For the uninitiated, there will be many hardships. Yeah, I remember that scene from the first game, too. Okay, I'm dead. Well, for those who don't know, this is what happens when you die in this game. You end up in this sort of weird purgatory area. And you just gotta run to the light, and the more you die, the farther that light goes. Now, I know there's an achievement I can get here before we go in there. Let's go over here. Yep, maybe we can unlock the memories from the first game. So there's me! There's me. Um, Miss Siska? Where are oh, we? Oh god, look at my friend's eyes. I really wasn't expecting there to be a bridge here. That complicates things a bit. What we should have done was taken a left turn initially, turned right at the intersection, and then went straight before turning around and making a left instead of a right. Alright, I see these little specks of light. I think I need to run towards them, and each one will have a small memory of what happened in the last game. That is my teacher, who also happened to be kind of like. Here. Oh, wait for me! Wait, where are you going? Don't just run off like that. She was the one pulling the strings in the last game, without anyone knowing. All right, there's a few dots I can run to. Let's, let's see, go this one here. This seems pretty close. Kind of like my personal bodyguard. Not for free, though. Right, sis? <laughs> what a creepy laugh. <laughs> oh, I've got. Wait, what happened to the dot? There it is. Hmm. Oh! I don't know which ones I've been to and which ones I haven't. It's just sort of trial and error. Okay. Hey, where's the island? Yeah. Where the heck did he run off to now? I think there's three more. Four. Huh. Stop calling my 
name. It's so creepy. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I remember this part. And the ghost killed my buddy. My classmate. This I don't remember. seen all of them, I got the achievement. Let's run back. Get this game on the road. I'm actually not sure where this game fits in the whole dread out timeline. The last game, everything sort of happened in one night. So, when does this happen? I'm wearing the same clothes. And I don't look any older, so... Why am I even here, also, in this purgatory? Lots of questions. We're gonna find out. That's not really helpful, is it? Candles. The candles on the door. Okay. Didn't work for me. The candles on the floor? Say, buddy. Mm. Ah, it just loops. All right, so we got a hallway here with a bunch of doors. Got my little camera phone, and my flashlight. I can turn it off if I want, but why would I ever want to do that? There's a big wall here. There's nothing around here. Okay, so this kind of reminds me of the Talos Principle, that we just have to go to each door and... and, uh, and figure out the, the, the solution to each one. Hang on. I do have another camera, apparently, the SLR. SF, okay. I got my file, what to do... Right, okay, looks like there's eight areas. And I guess... Okay, cool, that's interesting. Documents, ghost page or nothing. I got no care. Well, okay, I took that shit. And system. Alright. Well, I can just flash that way. Interesting. 
This one has a zoom, I see. This one doesn't. And I feel this a little crazy. Alright, let's start with one, I guess. Uh, oh, there we go. Yes. I shall enter this realm. I can change the gameplay experience? Huh. You may try to explain a different equipment when... You can tell this is the uh, English was the first language of the developers. All right, I'm in the Death Gaze. Tatapan ke machan. Sure, I butchered that. I'm in some sort of swamp. Hmm, looks like a temple. All right, let's head up these stairs and see what we get. Aha! I remember this. Blue vignette means there's an item of some sort nearby. There it is. Slither Sisters. Mother Tent. Wow, creepy. Looks like I'm in a little, kind of a temple. I'm not going down there just yet. Now, the sound in this game is pretty atmospheric. It's one of those things I leave. What is that? It's like a mirror. Oh! No. I guess that's the exit. Huh, alright. So there's entrance down going that way. And one going that way. I think we should go there first. There's one here too. Oh, this one is blood. Creepy. The sound's coming from. Oh, this is blood too. Whoa, 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 what is that? Is that a head? Oh, God, it's a head. Oh, God. Use the SLR on that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh God, it's her. I remember her. Put somewhere else, and she's. Can she come up here? I remember that ghost from the first game. She's real creepy. Oh, where'd she go? She's nearby. Oh, there's a head! Where's that other ghost, though? That was the creepy one. Laughing are the heads, I think. Okay. Whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, I think she's right here. I'm so scared of this ghost. 
Because <laughs> it's, it's a pretty bad jump scare once you get to. Okay. Oh, there we go! Damn! She got me good. Man! Bitch, get out of here! I think it's a croaking noise. Gotcha! One more. Oh, what? Where'd you go? Oh god, you still want... How many pictures is this gonna be? Gotcha. Die. Whew, okay. Enough of that. Let's go, let's explore around here some more. Isn't mirrors are just getting darker? Whew, that was kind of intense. So we're in kind of a flooded Buddhist temple of some sort? I'm not really sure. What's that? Oh, it looks another head! Can I get it from here? No, too far. There we go. Gotcha. Two shots, they're dead. Hmm. Mm, well, it's a toilet. Or like a bathhouse? Sure. Let us take a look at the other side. That isn't creepy at all. Yep, okay, there. Let's try to go around this way. These weird, creepy floating heads. I think it's my ghost PJ, actually. Kind of curious. No, they're not. They are not. Where did the head go? Oh god, it's like eyes are so shut. Die head. Oh, one more! Oh, it knocked me down. Take that head! Whoa! I don't like this. Oh god, this is gonna jump out. 
I'm so freaked right now. Let's exit out. Okay. Whoa, 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 I hear the heads. Whoa, the hell? Oh my god, it's a giant head. Oh god, that is scary. Oh, it's like a Medusa head. The thing about this game is there's no real way to, to die. If you die, you end up here. Just run back to the thing. So, death is not exactly a big problem, but when you have to deal with. What the hell am I? Oh god, the head! in the corner. Come on, come on. Ah! Uh, did I get this little head? Got it. Yeah, I think I got it. Woo. Woo. Spirit vanish. All right. Returning to. Okay, I think I figure how this works. So you beat the boss in each door, and you go back to the. Okay. And you can basically pick the order in which you want to do them. Hmm. Showing what Miss Siska did. Like I mentioned, she was actually pulling the strings in the first game. Some of the imagery is kind of weird. Oh. Blacks out the door. Okay, now I know. Alright, I guess we'll go to number two now. 
what's behind door number two?